In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Freedom Pop SIM card and get it working on uh, Android or Samsung. So let's get started. We've been using Freedom Pop for about two years on some cheap budget phones, and we did run into a few, few problems. So we have this Samsung Galaxy S7 that we got refurbished on Woot.com for about $175. And the, you can also set it up with an iPhone. I have, we also got a, it would be an iPhone 6. And I just got that set up and it works. But right now we're gonna do this on this S7. So, whenever you buy your Freedom Pop SIM card, it comes with instructions. So if you just ordered it, you're going to have to <clears throat> um, activate it. Now if you buy it from Freedom Pop, it's already activated, but if you buy it from Amazon, Best Buy, eBay, Groupon, Target, you're gonna have to activate it with, by their website. But I would recommend buying it from Freedom Pop, and a lot of times they'll have sales where you can buy the SIM card for like a dollar, which is pretty cheap. So now we'll look at in, insert SIM card and set up device APN. So we have the SIM card in here. So we're gonna go to settings, and you can get a, go to your settings by swiping down and then hitting that. And then settings, network connections, and you might not have the exact options, but we'll go to connections, and it says more. And then when we can use when we will select, let's see, there's not one for more. More connection settings is not actually what you want. We will go to, let's see, where is it? Mobile networks. Basically just skips this more step, access point names. And then in access point names, click on add, and then set it at, set it as an APN, and we'll do here it gives you what to set it as. FP.com dot A T T Z. And then we'll hit OK. Now it said our APN is that. I've saved it. And then it says please please note that some phones might have a different menu path to reach the access point names just like this one. Now we have the APN set. Now you can go ahead and test to see if it works. So a couple things that I had to do to get it to work. In the um, network connection, in the um, it was the access point names. Whenever you set the APN, you also have to set the name. It's the top setting. Set it just to your name or really whatever you want. And then select that and make sure to save it in your settings. In the settings, it has to be saved as a three dots up here, you'll click on that and hit save, and then you'll go back and put the name in. You'll see. And then, once you do that, it should work. You'll be able to send messages, and if it doesn't, just read over this and try it again and maybe look it up. This is what it looks like whenever you order your SIM card. Reach down in here, and this is what it should look like. And we can go ahead and pop this out. And this has a couple adapters in it. There's a couple ways. This outside piece, you can take that off. Most phones don't fit that. Now this size is what these phones used, but this phone and a lot of the other Apples use the one that's even smaller. So you can pop that out. And this is the size. And then right in here, you can take a SIM card remover tool or a needle, push right here. You can see that comes right out. If we pull it out, you can see here's the tray with the SIM card right in there. So the way we have this Freedom Pop set up is it only gives you a certain amount of calls and a certain amount of texts, like a certain amount of call minutes. And there is a certain amount of data that it gives you. I think it's about 200 megabytes, which isn't too much for watching videos. It, it really, it will last a lot longer if all you use it for is texting and calling. That's actually a lot of data, that's plenty. So we have it set up where we use Google Hangouts 
we don't actually send messages through the Freedom Pop app. Once you get it set up, then you can send all your messages and call through Google Hangouts. And then that works great because then it uses your data and it doesn't use your texts and calls and you, sh and you sure get a lot more than if you use your texts and your calls. Here is one of the cheap BLU phones that we had. This was about $60 and there was echoes. We had problems with getting texts, receiving texts, sending texts, whenever you were out of Wi-Fi and in data. So actually the quality of the phone does matter whenever you get this all set up. It works much better than this phone. We also tried it on the uh, Apple 6 and that works just fine. So really the quality of the phone does matter and we've kind of proven that. So having free cellular data sure is nice. It gets good reception just about anywhere you go. And you do have to be a little bit careful of how much data you use, but that really is solvable. Just keep a good eye on how much you're using. You can set limits and stuff. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.